Now, with knife crime at a 15-year high in Birmingham, more people are turning to a type of self-defence used by the Israeli military. Krav Maga is a technique that combines elements of boxing, wrestling, judo and karate. Sarah Bishop is at a class in South Birmingham right now. Tell us more, Sarah. Well, the literal translation in Hebrew of Krav Maga is close combat. The reason that it's so popular is because you can see it empowers ordinary men and women to escape potentially dangerous situations very, very quickly. You can see there's women in the class here tonight. One of them told me the reason she joined is because of the knife crime in her children's park in Birmingham. They're not just young, though. We've got Grandad Ken here, and this is his story. I've got eight grandchildren. You've never got a boarding time with them. You're always doing something. This one, Xander, who was with me on the day. The day they had a knife pulled on them. It was earlier this summer in Moseley after a trip to Cannon Hill Park. We walked down there to this, there's a hole in the wall there by this select and save shop. He didn't actually get any cash, only a receipt, but two men thought he had and threatened him with a knife. There's a car over the road, a blue car. The man said, you all right? I said, not really, he's got a blade there and I've got to try to rob me. And he's got out of his car and as he got out of his car, I got to one lad, pulled him round, pushed him to the floor there and the other lad fell back. Truck driver Ken never wanted to feel helpless again, so he enrolled in classes in Krav Maga. It's a combat technique developed in the 30s by Jewish boxer Imi Lichtenfeld, who was defending his community against racist gangs in Bratislava. The Israeli military have used it since the 1950s. If it happens again, I'll know what to do. It won't be me that will get injured or the child. It'd be the person who's threatening us. He's a peace-loving man, he says, but he won't tolerate violence from others. And he's so impressed with Krav Maga, he's now paying for all his grandchildren to learn too. Well, with me now is senior instructor Steve Maycott. Steve, Ken isn't the only person who's come to you specifically citing knife crime, is he? What sort of increase have you seen lately? It's been a big increase, of about 40% over the last 40%. few months. It's the highest 40%, yes. What sort of incidents have people mentioned to you? Uh, we've had uh, students that have come to us that have been attacked with a knife, one with a machete and also a shark and screwdriver as well. What advice would you give to people who find themselves in a situation? Because I mean, a, bit of, a bit of knowledge, actually, is quite dangerous, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. It's important not to give false confidence. Uh, really use observation, uh, talk about every situation and run and make as much noise as possible. Uh, let everyone know around you that someone's carrying a knife or uh, using a knife. And improvise with weapons around improvise you? Improvise weapons as well, yeah. If you've got something like a, a satchel or you've got a laptop case, uh, a chair, small table, uh, ornaments, anything that's around you to use as a weapon. So basically, shout a lot and run away. Hopefully, advice you won't have to use anytime soon. Indeed. Sarah, thank you. And thanks to you for being with us this evening.